today I, we are talking about you know Christmas. This video is gonna be coming out the Friday before Christmas, so we got like three days left until the big day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So welcome back to Story Time, and uh, doing uh, another uh, chat with Lucas about uh, what's going on this time of year, which is a bit of the holidays and Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever else anybody happens to celebrate. Um, but we're gonna be talking about. Uh, our experiences and stuff that we do uh, throughout this season of the year. Yes, exactly. All right. All and right. I guess to start us off, then we should just say happy holidays, everyone. Whatever uh, you celebrate. Happy you holidays. are enjoying it. Yep. And Merry Christmas to you, Lucas. And Thank you. Merry Christmas to you. Absolutely. And um, yeah, the, my, my village here that I'm, I'm building is not very festive. So I think I'm going to build a Christmas tree today. <laughs> oh, I was going to do something totally different, but I like the idea. Okay, I'm going to build a Christmas tree. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> you, you, you're I have welcome. this tutorial loaded up on my phone, ready to, on how to build a, an iron farm. And it's like, oh, yeah, that'd be tree. a great idea. But uh, Christmas tree. <laughs> I'm staring at an iron golem right now. Right in the junk. All right. Anyways, <laughs> speaking of Christmas trees, do yes. you have any traditions surrounding Christmas trees? Uh, yeah. So, do you guys do a like a, a real tree, a fake tree, or no tree? We try to do a real tree every year. Ba well, I grew up on fake trees, and yeah. I guess it was always a tra tradition to pull the tree out of the box, and then we had like a thousand branches we had to pull out and read the labels and line them all up and sure. then try to put the tree together. So that was different. But then once Evelyn and I started kind of having our own place together. Yeah. We kind of made it a thing where we would get a, a real tree. Right. So I grew up on real trees and now do fake trees. No, you don't. <laughs> I swear. Yeah. We, <laughs> we do, we do a fake tree because, uh, one, I, I, I never really cared for the whole cleaning and all that good stuff of the tree. That's part of it. That's the part I don't like. <laughs> um, <laughs> and keeping the thing alive when we, when I was growing up, uh, we had some trees that would last a really long time. And depending on where we got it from, like the Christmas tree farm that we have here in town, uh, where, where I grew up is right here where I'm at. And uh, the tree farm here is gone. And uh, so we, we don't no longer can cut down our own trees here. When we moved up to Washington, you could. They, they did have real trees, but we still never got a real tree. Okay. Yeah. We just did the, pl the plastic thing. I think having the pine needles all over the floor, it's like a half hour of cleaning at the most, and it's just so much better to have a real tree. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can see, I can see the, 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 what do you call it, the, the like of having a real tree, of wanting one. Um, I just, I don't know, it's just not my, my cup of tea anymore. I just don't, don't care for it, and, and now we just do the fake tree, which is becoming a, uh, a bit of a problem too, because our cat is allergic to plastic. One of them is, and. Oh. And uh, when he eats, like he tries to eat the, oh, I just went to the wrong <laughs> village. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. But when he tries to eat the branches, because that's what cats do, um, uh, uh, he breaks out. <laughs> it's, sick. it's really bad. It just his lip gets really oh. swollen. Poor so guy. we have to give him like an injection uh, and to, to help him out. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you got to go for a real tree for your kitty cat. Yeah. I, mm, we thought about it this year, but our the tree prices here in town. Um, or just in our general area, have skyrocketed. Um, what used to be oh, 50 yeah. bucks for like a six-foot tree is now $300. Uh, well, that's insane. And I'm cheap, and I can't do that. <laughs> so <laughs> I was going to say, they've kind of skyrocketed here, too. What used to be a $50 tree is $100 now. But, yeah, no, we're not at the $300 mark. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're a little outrageous. What you get for like 50 or 60 bucks is like the Charlie Brown trees, you know? <laughs> it's right. Not, it's not uh evelyn really wanted to do like a 12 foot tree this year oh and yeah our, our, our ceilings are eight feet right oh she wanted to have the cut it in half and then have the other half coming out the like roof dude that side. would be freaking hilarious <laughs> oh my I god said, if, if you had a big bay window where people could actually see that absolutely i'd be on board dude that would be so if you ever do that i, I need not pictures. only do i need pictures <laughs> do i need video of this thing going right. up and a and the whole process because that sounds absolutely epic. <laughs> Holy cow, dude! Uh, to make it look like it just punched through the ceiling. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Uh, Christmas is definitely one of my favorite times of years, and I love decorating for it. You know what I love about this time of year specifically is it makes our streets less boring. Do you know yeah, what I mean? True. All the lights and everything. Yeah, Even I really. The city kind of decorates a little bit. Yeah, exactly. So you get you get that little uh, whoa, ow. That freaking hurt. <laughs> I just jumped really hard. It's okay, Andrew. Anyway, so yeah, you get you get all the decorations from everything around you, and it just makes it feel so festive. Like just it, it just makes it more enjoyable. 
and so that whole time between like October till uh, till January from Halloween, all the decorations from Halloween till about January for yeah. the end of Christmas, it looks so festive, and then it all goes away, and it's kind of like, oh, <laughs> it's just so yeah. I mean, sad. here I, you don't, probably don't have to deal with much snow like ever in California. Oh, uh, not where we're at. No, the snow kind of gets like the winter gloom kind of gets like subsided because of Christmas time or the yeah, holidays. Yeah, because you have the lights and stuff. Right. Yeah. yeah. And as soon as Christmas goes away, it's now just gray, cold, and ugly winter. No, and that's how so, it was when we lived in Washington. We'd have the snow would come in, and you know everything would be covered, but the lights made it shine, and it made it feel just special. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. So I, yeah, I, I, I do miss that, uh, um, that little bit of if it feels like a winter wonderland with the snow and everything. We don't have that here in Southern <laughs> California, but when we lived in Washington, we definitely had that that feel but you're right as soon as the lights come down in january january 1st 2nd whatever it is everybody shuts them off and it's just gray gray <laughs> and gloomy and yeah sad yeah it really is i really don't like winter <laughs> I <want> summer back <laughs> Dang it. i like i like driving in the winter time not near other people because people don't know how to drive in the winter time no but i like to have fun <laughs> like you know drifting and stuff oh okay yeah I, that checks so, out yeah, I like I like driving in the winter time, but yeah, that's about it. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I the the thing that I, I like I think about uh, like going out and about when we're Christmas is over, um, we start going snowboarding. We start going to the mountains here uh, to go snowboarding, and driving up in the mountains um, with a, the proper vehicle feels fun because I really enjoy like you know going a little off road, going through the yeah. tracks of snow and whatnot. But then find, seeing people that aren't prepared for it drive through it and drive in around them is really uh i want to call it a challenge <laughs> a challenge challenge scary <laughs> it's scary little sketch one thing i really hate and it's probably like this everywhere yeah is the first snowfall every single driver oh yeah gets how to drive oh no first snowfall first rain that we have here in california is just like that too <laughs> it's just the freaking first rain first rain yeah what do you mean rain because we don't like we don't get rain year round right it's not like anywhere else. We get we get rain like when it comes in at like late October, we get a little bit of rain. During the summer, we get like one day of rain, and then really, and then December it's usually pretty dry because it's just starting to cool off. And then January it starts to rain here. When it starts to snow everywhere else, it's raining here, right? Weird. So so we get like you know last last year was unique in the sense that it it rained a buttload. We've never had that much rain in, in our lives. Yeah, um, but. Normally, you know, we get maybe like a couple weeks of rain for the whole year, and that's wow. it. Oh, I didn't think. I guess it kind of makes sense. Like when I was living in South Carolina for work, yeah, it rained one time that I was there. Yeah, and it kind of it rained fairly heavily. Yeah, but they brought police onto the highway and made them drive like I don't know what ten miles per hour. Oh, to slow people down. To slow people down. It's like, you don't know how to drive in the rain? <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's a big fat negative there, Lucas. No, they do not. <laughs> um, uh, I guess yeah. that's just a thing. I guess so, dude, because honestly, it's um, it's pretty challenging. When when it rains here, we get a lot of uh, a lot of idiots on the road. I'm, I'm sure that's everywhere. I'm sure that's not just here, obviously. Uh, <laughs> we, get a, we get a lot of morons on the road that literally like forget how to drive, or they continue driving the same manner. Uh, uh, like you know full speed you know 90 miles an hour on the freeway and don't realize yeah. that that's going to cause uh, a little bit of a problem for themselves uh See, there's the two ends of the spectrum you get the people who don't know how to drive in the snow and they'll just keep driving like they were and cause accidents yeah exactly and you get Same. people who don't know how to drive in the snow and then you know they're too scared to drive oh so yeah they, they go like super slow and they're doing yeah, like they're driving incredibly slow on the highway slowing everybody down and not just slowing everybody down they're ca- not just cause yeah exactly they're causing rear ends not realizing what they're causing either yeah 100 percent. and uh, it's so annoying it, it really is <laughs> it's really freaking agree dude and i don't want to say like i'm an amazing driver i'm, I'm a pretty good driver oh yeah i'm not a, i'm not a, i'm not the best driver in the world but I, i'm not gonna say i'm the worst driver in the world either I, actually i'm pretty good at like judging distances between me and other vehicles um, like how, where I can fit my vehicle. Okay. Anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty decent driver. I'm not like, like you said, not an excellent driver, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain about my driving. I think, think I know how to do it better than, <laughs> better than some. You don't, you don't forget how to do it either halfway through the year. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyways, back to you know our Christmas chit chat. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna jump. What is Christmas for you? Is it um family gatherings? Is it more just your personal intermediate like family? Um, so for us, Christmas in general is just it's it's literally the the lights and the things around us that that we celebrate because we don't we're not religious. Um. Yep. At all, so we don't follow the whole uh, the whole religion uh, aspect of things, which is you know everybody's got their thing, so that that's fine for us. Um, but at the same time, well, that's not the prettiest tree, is it? Anyway, <laughs> uh, at, at the same time, we do enjoy all the things that are around the the, the lights and um, you know the little parties that we have and uh, the, the special drinks and all the stuff that this holiday brings around. And, and honestly, the the I, I hate to say it and be a little superficial about it, but I, we enjoy the gift giving. I love I love watching our kids open gifts, getting them yep. things. Not that that's the the best way to do things in life, but I love watching <laughs> them open open gifts. I think it's fantastic. I, I really do. I do well, really I'm do very, like uh, that. I'm very similar to you. I'm. I'm agnostic, so I don't celebrate Christmas for the religious side of it. I celebrate Hallmark Christmas. That's it. So. That's that's a that's a great way of freaking uh, phrasing that, dude. I I celebrate a Hallmark Christmas. You're right. That's it's that's the gift giving. It's the gift getting. It's, yeah, it's just all of it. It's, it's just a fun magical. time of year, right? <laughs> yeah. And then uh, for people are like, well, the, that's uh, I I've heard the argument. Well, that, that you know that's money that you have to spend at the end of the year. No, not necessarily. It doesn't have right. to be freaking an expensive gift. It could be something you made at home. It, it just the matter of the, the the whole process of giving somebody something that that you thought of for that person. You know what I mean? Like yeah, hundred percent. I mean, this year has been a lot harder on us uh, money wise. So I've made quite a few presents this year. We had a wood burner that Evelyn got uh, last year. But yeah. So I, I've been doing a lot of wood burning projects for Christmas presents this year. No, that's cool. You know, I saw somebody else do that for their uh, um. For their Etsy store, they were burning, uh, what do you call it? They were making uh, um, cutting boards, and they were burning patterns on the cutting boards. Uh, and they're saying, you know, it takes them like eight hours to do this cutting board. I'm like, that's that's insane, but I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm like, would you ever consider getting a, uh, a laser engraver? It would save you a buttload of time. And she's like, yeah, I'm saving up for that, hoping that this will get her enough money to buy you know the oh, laser nice. engraver, so she can make a buttload of them at the same time. I'm like, yeah, you right. know, it, it, I mean, it's all uh, wood burning is is a skill and, and an art form, and it, it takes a lot a lot of a uh, lot of patience to do. So uh, I feel you, man. Uh, I, uh, we've so Evelyn got the laser engraver last year. Oh, cool! It it was a cheap one. I think it was like a hundred bucks or something like that. But they still do cool stuff, though. No. Yeah, they do great stuff. Uh, great stuff with it. But the problem with ours is every time you plug into the computer. Yeah. The home position changes. Oh, I see. So you got to so reset can, home. Well, you don't have to. You can't reset home. You have to mark the home location on like the tabletop that we're using. Okay. Every time we plug it in, so you can't make fifty of the same things because if you stop the print or stop the late gra- engraving at one point and turn your computer back on, the home location is a new po- new location. So you can't like. Oh, I keep see. Keep using the same thing. It's just a pain in the butt to do. Oh, I see. It's still um, a really cool little thing, and it makes for great presents. I've been doing a lot of keychains. <laughs> I did like a big uh, picture frame for my grandmother. Oh, that's cool. How big is the the plate on it? Is it a good size? It is. So it's in millimeters. It's supposed to be uh, like four hundred millimeters by four hundred millimeters. That's so still like really 40. good, though. Yeah, so it's like forty centimeters, so just about fifteen inches. I think. Yeah, that's really no. That's a good size plate, dude. Yeah. yeah, everything's in millimeters when it comes to like, uh, what do you call it? 3D printers or engravers or any of that stuff is always in millimeters. Yeah, it's a better measurement. It really is. It really is. <laughs> I will never argue with you about what the better measurement is. It's It really is a better measurement form. <laughs> it's a better measurement, but as a Canadian, we still use inches for a lot of stuff. So Do you really? I actually ended up uh, asking last last Christmas, as a matter of fact, my wife got me one. Um, I, you, don't, you can't get them at the uh, um, hardware stores here, is a uh, metric measuring tape. And oh really? my, oh my God, did it make my life so much easier woodworking. <laughs> holy cow it was so nice but yeah we can't get them here i've gone to like three or four hardware stores asking for a metric measuring tape and they're one i get the question of why and uh, yeah and two i I get the uh oh yeah we have them right here i'm like no you don't (laughs) no you don't 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 Uh. you be telling me you have them when you don't have them um what do you do like for christmas itself or the holiday itself do you do you guys Uh. um our Christmas is, I want to say it's mostly driving. <laughs> oh, you're driving to families? Yeah, driving to family events and stuff. 
Okay. So is so, it like a Christmas Eve or a Christmas Day? Well, typically it's different this year because Evelyn is working quite a bit around Christmas time. Oh, is but she? We have to go to Evelyn's mother's side family Christmas, usually a week before Christmas, maybe two weeks before Christmas. This weekend or this year, it is literally Saturday before Christmas, so two days before Christmas. Oh wow! When this video yeah. comes out. Yeah, yeah. Um, and Evelyn works, so we're not be we're not able to go to that. Oh uh, no! Even if we uh could it's uh like a two and a half hour drive so oh like, wow so it's not close at all no it's not close um and then after aside from that every christmas so her family is danish on her dad's side okay so i, I it's kind of cool so they do like real or... they do like crazy good good christmas stuff then yeah they do yeah but i don't know if it's a danish thing or if it's a evelyn's grandmother danish thing <laughs> Oh, what do you mean? Christmas Eve Uh is a big family celebration. So everybody has like a big get together on Christmas Eve and there's like dancing around a Christmas Christmas tree. So you have to like be, we pull a tree into the middle of the room, which is often or in the last seven, eight years is a tiny house. So us dancing around the tree with 40 people is like just huddling at each other's (laughs) waist and just kind (laughs) of shuffling. (laughs) So it's 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 funny. Oh, uh, it works. Sure. <laughs> and then yeah, so we do that. There's always been a gift exchange. I don't know if we're actually doing a gift exchange or anything this year. It's already a week away, and you haven't heard we anything. Haven't told. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Evelyn's followed up or asked a couple times, and I don't think she's been given an answer. So I guess ah uh, we'll okay. What um, um, do you guys do you guys do stuff between you two like specifically just for you guys? We do our own, like, we bring our presents for each other to each of our Christmas events. So every other year, we try to switch up whose parents we are ending up at. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, so you just share, go was, back and forth. Yeah. So last year, it was Evelyn's parents' Christmas morning, and we were supposed to go to my parents' Christmas afternoon. But then we ended up getting snowed in and stuck in. Oh, I think you mentioned like, that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a fun christmas we tried to make the drive back and ended up kind of getting stranded oh and no had to turn around and stayed at her aunt's and uncle's oh no um and then so a little excitement for christmas yeah a little bit more dramatic than typical <laughs> but this year it's christmas morning at my parents so pretty much every christmas eve with my family it's uh-huh. never been a big party it's been what do you want to call those finger foods it's like we put like hors d'oeuvres like a Pigs in a blanket, hors d'oeuvres, yes. yeah. So pigs in a blanket, little pizza bites, a whole bunch of different finger foods in the oven, and we just like snack away and listen to music and okay. just hang out. And then my parents always do a Christmas Eve present, which is typically a pair of pajamas that we wear on Christmas morning. That's what usually your Christmas Eve gift is, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it works. I mean, that's been in my Christmas Eve celebrations every year. And then this year we're Christmas morning at my parents, hopefully, as long as the snow is on our side. But yeah. Evelyn may end up working like, boxing day we don't know her schedule yet so oh really we're gonna be driving two and a bit hour to her christmas eve party an hour back to my parents for christmas eve again there and then from my parents to her parents which is an hour drive and then from her parents back to if she doesn't work back to my parents for christmas dinner on boxing day uh-huh and then back to burlington which is another hour and a half drive Jeez, you guys are on the road all damn day yeah, so as much as I don't want to say it, COVID was like one of the most chill Christmases <laughs> I've ever had. We woke up because we couldn't, we weren't allowed to travel and visit anybody. So our Christmas morning was just Ev and I and our roommate, <laughs> and we didn't have to go anywhere. It was peaceful. Oh man, I just died. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you jump off your Christmas tree? No, I finished my Christmas tree. I was trying to kill an Enderman. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so those are my Christmas kind of celebrations. It's, so yeah, uh, you guys are literally all over the all over heck and back on yeah. Christmas, dude. That's crazy. Is yours, is yours more just like your immediate family, or do you do a lot of travel as well? So yeah, when we lived like when we lived uh, far, it was it was really easy. It was just uh, Christmas between her her mom would come over, my mother in law would come over, and we just do Christmas at the house. So that was it because we didn't have any other real family uh, there. So that was that's all we had to to do. Uh, right. Now, now we got we're close to my family as well. So her mom flies out. Uh, she'll be here on Monday, right? And she yeah. flies out every every Christmas. And um, then we do uh, Christmas Eve at usually either my mom's house, my sister's house, or my house. Um, and we do our little gift exchange that night. We give everybody's got gifts for whatever, and we give we give the kids get to open one ki- uh, one gift each that we get to pick. And like you said, it's usually uh, Christmas pajamas that we wear the next day. 
So nice. that's just like the thing, right? So is that a thing that everybody does then? I think, well, at least you and I do. <laughs> at least you and I. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think Evelyn's parents ever did it. But again, they have different uh, Christmas Eve traditions. So. Right. So, uh, yeah. So we do the same. We do the Christmas uh pajamas um my sister does it too she does the same thing she does the christmas pajamas my mom didn't do that when we were growing up we didn't have that same tradition so that's just something kind of we picked up on our own i think and um so we do our little christmas the family christmas thing and then uh the next day um her mom is obviously still with us so she stays uh she she does christmas morning with us and that's our family christmas right so it's just uh, chauncey myself and her mom and we do our little gift exchange with our kids. And that's nice. kind of, we put out all the Christmas gifts the night before, like Santa would. But even though they don't believe in Santa anymore, we still do it. It's like a traditional thing we just do. And um, they get to come out, come downstairs and we all open gifts. And then we watch some TV or watch some movie that we pick out. And then we kind of go about our, our day. My mom will come over later in the day and we kind of just hang out. So Christmas is oh. pretty chill. We just play with whatever we got. <laughs> that nice. day, you know i'm going back to my um, death spot to go get all my well, things <laughs> oh. uh you had mentioned you guys watch christmas movies do you do a lot of christmas movies this time of year uh no <laughs> no we don't we Thank do goodness. we'll pick like one or two last year was really cool uh what do you call it came out um it wasn't a it wasn't so much a christmas movie it was a christmas special for uh, uh what's it called oh shoot dang it um, santa um, clauses um, no i never really watched that um, I mean, I've, I've seen all the Christmas movies, but that's not one of them that we've like picked for Christmas. It's usually some roundabout kind of thing. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy had a Christmas special come out last year. Oh yeah, that was did so you good. see it? It was forty five yeah. minutes long, and it was so good. It was so entertaining. So it was really so much. It's worth the watch if you guys haven't seen it. Oh, there's even like lore revealed in it too. So. Oh, absolutely, and it's so good. I mean, it was just it was such a fun filled episode. Uh, I call it episode because it's only forty five minutes long, but it was such a fun filled show movie whatever you want to call it special Special, yeah yeah uh, that i wish more specials were like that because we i mean we've experienced other specials that that are not so special (laughs) you know (laughs) hey enderman you're gonna you're gonna die right now no he just one shot me (laughs) dude he one shot me Enderman. yeah are you not wearing armor was your health low no my health was fully up to scale and and weird i just he got one shot me well maybe he didn't i don't know (laughs) (laughs) He was holding your sword. Maybe he was. Um, um, yeah, that's that's basically the gist of our our Christmas. How did you experience it more growing up, like back in the back in the day? Did you do the same type so, of thing you do now? When I was a kid, there was way less driving. Basically, we'd go to my mom's Christmas. It was usually like a couple of weeks before, like family Christmas was like a couple of weeks before, and then um, every every other Christmas, my grandparents, like on my dad's side, would either come to like they were about five hours drive away. Sure. So they would either come to us or we would go to them and celebrate Christmas there. So it was always just like a small little gathering on Christmas morning. And after you open your presents, you get to kind of play with your toys or play with your games or whatever you had for the rest of the day. Uh-huh. And then you just had the big Christmas dinner. Oh. So like my, For my parents, it was always stressful because they had to do Christmas morning. And then they were starting cooking like a big turkey dinner. Oh, they do the full right. on Christmas dinner. Oh, yeah. Full on Christmas dinner. Yeah. So. That's cool. Yeah, that's been that's always been my Christmas growing, celebrations, anyways. Growing up, yeah, yeah. My mine were probably the same. We'd go to um for when we were like really really young, we would do the same kind of the same thing we do now. It's not a whole lot of a whole lot different, quite honestly. Um, but when we got a little bit older, like when I was I want to say older, like seven or eight, <laughs> we used to go to my grandparents' yeah. house like pretty regularly, and okay. my grandparents lived. Uh, they live about how far from here? Shoot. Maybe two hours, two and a half hours from where we live right now. Um, okay. And this is where I grew up. So it's same same spot. Um, and uh, we'd spend Christmas there and be all the cousins, you know. So it would be a big family gathering type of thing. But um, honestly, as we got a little bit older, it, was, it got a little bit boring because there's nothing to do there. My grandparents' house was right. super boring. Um, but it, it got a little bit boring. So it, it, we, we made do. <laughs> <laughs> But it was it was also um, Christmas Eve. We just did Christmas Eve. We'd all stay the night there because it was really far for us, at least really far at the time. And then we'd um, we'd come home Christmas Day, and it was kind of Christmas Day was kind of lackluster when I was growing up. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, Christmas Eve was fun. I mean, it was it was nice, especially growing up. But um, do you remember? So speaking of my grandparents, uh, they they remind me of something every single year. 
um, every single Christmas that comes up is my dad's, my dad's parents. Uh, my dad's dad was super cheap. So my grandmother wasn't allowed to give expensive gifts. Um, do you, do you remember a good gift and a bad gift? And I'm not saying that anything is worthy of being like, I'm not saying it's something I'm too good to get this gift type of thing. (laughs) Just something that was like, what the crap is this type of gift? I don't pretty much, even to this day, my, oh, thank you so much gift. I've always been raised to always be appreciative of every gift you get. Of course. Like, even if I didn't like the gift, I would still show appreciation for it. Sure. Like. I don't know. I would never be rude against about it. Right? Oh no, but, yeah, I was never rude about it. I was just yeah. to this very day, it's a story. <laughs> <laughs> I, but the gifts that always kind of make me go like, ah, oh, gee, thanks, are clothes. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I don't, I don't think any kid, especially, is really appreciative of getting clothes. Never, ever, <laughs> ever. Even me as a grown adult, like I need clothes. Yeah, but I can but, like, go I buy can clothes. Go buy it. Exactly. Exactly. I can go <laughs> buy clothes. I don't need you to buy me my clothes. Thank you for the socks. <laughs> and Evelyn struggles with me for buying Christmas gifts for me because I and just go out and buy stuff when I want something. So but she that's never most, knows what to get me. But that's most every adult. You know what I mean? I don't know anybody that's like every man, <laughs> every dude I, that I that I've ever spoken to is like, OK, I need this tool. Well, I'm going to wait for Christmas for it. No, I'm going to freaking buy it because I need this tool. You know right, what I mean? Exactly. That said, every tool I I own is like the cheap version of it. So like when I get tools from my parents for Christmas. Yeah. When I was a kid, I'd be like, yeah, I don't really want this. But now that I'm an adult, it's like, I really want this tool. Like, <laughs> I was kind of hinting to my mother. I was like, yeah, I got a torque wrench this summer, a real cheap one. It's like, it really sucks. So, <laughs> so you're hinting, really hoping hinting at getting get, a like, better one because you have one to use for now, but you would like yeah, a really nice one. Exactly. That's not a, you know, that's, that's not a bad way to go, honestly, especially <laughs> something that you purchase. You're like, I just need something to use right now and this isn't going to do it, but. Yeah. I I would really like this really nice one. That, that's different though. I, I'm gonna say that's a little different. Um, but as far as gifts, uh, I've actually like been like, oh my god, yes, best thing ever. Yeah, it's hard because I, I'll admit I was very much spoiled as a kid. Were you? So I, my Christmases like it's bad because I'm gonna not do this do this with my kids. But Santa would bring ten to twelve gifts, and my parents would bring like fifteen gifts. Oh yeah, so that's like, that's our Christmas to our kids right now. I spoil the crap out yeah. of our kids because we can afford to right now. So right. I'm going to. I'm. I mean, as much as I say I don't, I don't want to do this. Bullshit. I want to because it's not something I had <laughs> growing up, and yeah, and it doesn't happen all the time. It's just it's for Christmas and their birthdays. It's not like we buy them, we shower them with gifts all the time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm not the, saying like I don't want to spoil, but twelve gifts from Santa is a really bad thing because other kids are getting one don't. or none. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, it's, I it's tell, per circumstance, tell, right? What's that? It's by circumstance, though, right? Because uh, when they're young, yeah, I get it. Uh, when they're young, they don't understand. Santa's bringing them a gift. Okay, cool. Here's a few gifts, a bunch of clothes, some toys. But as we get, we got older. Uh, oh, as the kids get get older, um, we give them a lot more stuff because, and the stuff gets more expensive too. Is like my 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 uh, oldest son is seventeen, so the stuff that he wants is not necessarily the most expensive thing in the world but it ends up accumulating to be expensive he just bought himself a a really nice film camera this really amazing sony camera that's made for film like almost two grand right so um we got him a bunch of accessories for this camera but i mean even those are expensive they're not inexpensive gifts they end up being really pricey like even lenses you know are not cheap you know that (laughs) (laughs) hey if you're watching don't don't keep watching (laughs) <laughs> he doesn't watch he doesn't, he doesn't watch, watch our videos no ethan doesn't watch. is it ethan's yeah ethan's yeah ethan, right. yeah, ethan, yeah, ethan doesn't he doesn't watch i mean <laughs> liam will will chime in from time to time the only time they watch is while i'm editing the if the, if i'm editing they'll sit down next to me while i'm editing <laughs> so i'll make sure he's not here while i'm editing <laughs> um so uh, uh, so uh, one gift that that i recall the one gift the gift i'm gonna call it the gift right i was probably shoot maybe nine years old maybe Maybe 10. I don't know. My grandmother, uh, like I said, she wasn't allowed. My my grandfather was super cheap. She wasn't allowed to give us expensive gifts by any means. Like, I, and I'm going to, I'm using that term very, very loosely. I'm just running around my village here. Um, uh, my sister got, uh, looked like a hand crocheted, like beret. Okay. And I don't know that she made it because I don't think my grandmother crocheted, right? So okay. she probably got it from yep. whatever store, pick and save or whatever, right? Um, I don't remember what my brother got, um, but I got a candle. And okay. you're thinking, cool, you know, the little glass votive, you know, you light it, it smells nice. No, I got, you know those tapered candles? 
that you put in for decoration on like the on sconces or things like that or the 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 top of the table like the center like, pieces like a long skinny one correct right the long skinny okay. ones that you see but yeah. it was it was a christmas theme it had a santa claus on the side of it a single single candle here's the kicker it was half used okay <laughs> it was a half used christmas red christmas tapered candle actually more than half used it was only about four inches left of it and my guess is probably you know a 12 inch candle so i got a, a third a third of a candle for christmas okay. one year is that worse than getting coal because i feel that coal is <laughs> more useful than that and i don't believe i was a bad kid at nine years old but apparently i was <laughs> because my grandmother got me a freaking two-thirds used candle see i thought you were about to tell me a story about like this present that you will always remember because it was your most favorite present ever oh no and that's I'm like waiting for the catch. I'm like, oh what no! Is, what's the story here? What's the story? Yeah. My 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 most favorite favorite gift ever is that one right there for sure. For absolutely one hundred and ten percent. So that's your most favorite gift. No, it's horrible. It was terrible. I I remember to this day, and I tell the story every single time, and people are like their jaws fall to the ground type of type of story. Like what the crap? I've never heard oh, of anybody getting well. a freaking used candle. <laughs> My other grandmother, who's on a fixed income, right? She she only makes so much uh, every single month off of her uh, social security. She uh, buys us gift cards or puts money in an envelope, right? And I tell her every single year, don't get us anything, but she still insists on getting us something. Like just a card would be lovely. I, I don't expect things from people, but when I get something like a burnt candle, <laughs> that's gonna stick with you as a child for the rest of your life in a negative connotation entirely. True. So. Yeah, just get me nothing versus that. It would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like sits in the back of your head like, what did I do wrong? It's literally what I thought. It's th what I think to this very well. She's gone now, but when she was around, yeah, up until a couple rest years in, ago. Rest in peace, T's grandma. <laughs> rest in peace, T's grandma, yeah. My other grandmother's still alive. My mom's mom. She's still alive. She's still with us. She's like freaking 93, 94 <laughs> years old. Yeah, she's she's up there. Um, she'll one gift I remember getting. Yeah. Uh, is so my parents. Okay, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit more. Sorry. Sure. Everybody. Um, the Nintendo Wii came out. Oh yeah. And everybody wanted it, right? Yeah. It was a handheld, like. Oh yeah. A wireless it was the first of its kind. Stands. It was beautiful, right? Yeah. And this was the console that I wanted, and Josie wanted my sister, and we wanted this console. My parents were like, yeah, whatever, because they would kind of buy us that stuff outside of special occasions. Oh, got it. Got it. So. They were for like two months leading up to it. They're like telling us, yeah, they're completely sold out. We can't get it. Sorry. Um, we're going to try in the next year once there's less of a craze. So, like, we were 100% certain that we weren't getting a Wii, right? Yeah. And then we open up this Nintendo Wii and we both started freaking out. That's awesome. That's uh, absolutely awesome. You know, I did that with my, my kids two years ago um, when the PlayStation came out, PlayStation 5, right? Yeah. Impossible to get. Like no one had them in stores. No one had them anywhere. And uh, I followed this dude on on uh, uh, Twitter that would post every time a store would have inventory. I don't know how he got his information. I wish <laughs> I knew. But every time a store had inventory, he would ping it on on Twitter and it would get sold out like freaking immediately. I was not, not able to buy it anywhere. Well, he posted one time that it was uh, available at Sony directly, like to order it from Sony. So I went on there. I got on the little waiting list. The little ticker went down and I got picked and i was able to buy it outright and that was awesome nice. and i told the kids i'm like there's I'm like you're they're like well you know it'd be nice if we can get a playstation and i'm like yeah I'm like good luck getting one i'm like if you guys can let me know where you can find one i'll get you one but there's no way <laughs> i'm gonna find that of course they never did and um yeah they, they what got, would you have done if they were like yeah there's one on sale here oh i would have said oh so I, I couldn't i couldn't get to it fast enough it got sold out immediately because i knew it would have sold out you know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, it was it was uh, it was a good it was a good gift. Like they got a bunch of stuff, and then they're like, oh, there's one more under the tree. What's that one? That type of type of thing. And it was it was yeah. good. I really enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed giving that to them. It was, I I love watching them light up when they see something that they're not expecting. You know, not something they didn't specifically or that that they asked for that they know that they're there's no way they're gonna get. Yeah, so when you all getting of a sudden they do yeah. So when you got that we. It was the same feeling, but on the on the sending end, it was such a good feeling. <laughs> you don't realize how, like, when you actually are gifting presents to people that you truly care about and love, and you get, like, a genuine reaction of excitement out of it. Yeah. It is, like, the best feeling. That's what I love about Christmas is the gifting. I think like, so, Don't dude. get me wrong. 
I, I love I, receiving I love it. Oh, he, gifts, oh, he, oh, yeah. I love getting. I mean, who doesn't love getting a gift? I mean, let's let's be honest. Everybody loves getting a gift. But seeing someone's expression or their reaction to something, as long as it's genuine and it's not like a snotty reaction, because I've seen some some <laughs> reactions are really bad. Like, what the hell is this type of thing? And uh, I'm glad I didn't raise kids like that. <laughs> quite honestly. <laughs> Um, but I, I love that. You're absolutely right. I love that absolutely wonderful reaction, that genuine of of just gratefulness of receiving something. Um, we have a like, we have a, gr- a group of friends that we kind of get together every year, or not? We get together more often for a year, but sure, Christmas time. Christmas time, do like you gift, do another thing. Like Secret Santa. Oh, okay, yeah. And most of our friends are just like, oh, thanks, and it's just kind of like they don't really appreciate the present. It feels like. But oh like, yeah. One friend in our group like genuinely shows appreciation and gets excited about what you give them and they even like go all out when they're trying to give gifts. They don't have a lot of money, but they get a lot of stuff for a lower price. So you kind of feel like you're you're getting a lot getting for your... a lot. Yeah. So I was like when Evan and I got our gift exchanges this year. Yeah. I was like, if you get this friend, I want to switch because <laughs> I know they're going to appreciate what I get them. Yeah, you know, that's that, that's the other thing, too, is like some people just don't appreciate the thought, especially if you think about like the whole thought process of getting somebody something like you, you're getting this tailored for that individual. It's not just a gift. Right. Yeah. And they, they look at it as like, oh, thanks. And I mean, I'm not going to name names, but I have some family members like that <laughs> just in case they happen to, to hear this. Um, the that they oh thank you for the gift and then they'll go and and like this is exactly what i wanted and they'll go and return it not even exchange it for like a different size or something like that they'll just go and return it i'm like oh okay i'm glad i'm I'm glad i put time and effort into freaking picking out something that i thought you would absolutely (laughs) like i'm glad super super ecstatic yeah thank you for showing thanks for caring about it yeah exactly oh man it's just I, it's we I mean, had a uh, it's I mean it's their gift. They can do whatever the hell they want with it, but it's just kind of annoying, I guess. I don't know. Is there any like is that a dramatic thing in your family? Or is it just kinda like on the sideline that people don't really care about it? Um, no. I think it's just this one individual whom I okay. love to death to the day I die, but <laughs> they're just not very they don't feel very grateful <laughs> for the things right. they get. You know what I mean? And not that again, no. I'm not expecting the the gratefulness out of them. But I, I do I do put time or or even Chauncey, she'll put time and effort into making sure that it's something specifically tailored for that person. It's not just, oh, I think they'll like this. Here you go. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. How about you? Uh Ooh. with what, sorry. With uh with gift giving. You guys have uh is it pretty pretty nominal as far as that that type of thing? Or do you guys not really deal in, with that? Intermediate family, everyone's great, everyone appreciates everything. My parents really don't want anything, so as soon as I give them a gift, they're really appreciative of it, but they prefer that you didn't anytime, anytime I make a gift by hand. Yeah. They really appreciate those kind of gifts. Oh, okay. That's kind of um, cool. One side I guess the only side of my family that actually used to get together for Christmas. Yeah. Um, it was always a drama. Dramatic fight, pretty much. Oh no. <laughs> Something would happen um a couple of like my an, like an argument needs. yeah there's always an argument oh and a couple of my cousins are special needs one is more vocal and outspoken okay and for whatever reason my uncle and my uncles and aunts and even grandmother couldn't deal with it and it would just cause a ton of drama and a ton of anger around the family okay like and outspoken how politically or just in general um how do i want to phrase it just kind of like so she's a grown adult but has like the mindset of a younger like a child okay so she'll just say the first thing that comes into her mind whether it's positive or negative oh it's just no filter yeah no filter that's a good way okay to and nothing wrong i, I got it, right? i got and plenty then, of plenty of people that i know that have no filter i mean i have no filter sometimes <laughs> <laughs> but but some people in my family couldn't put up with it and it kind of sucks so like every year evelyn tries to spend time with her and hangs out with her and i try to be nice to her and because no one else is so. oh i see it's kind of heartbreaking to see, and and it always there's always some kind of drama fight during this family get together. So it, we kind of stopped doing it for quite for a little while, or at least something not as extravagant. And pretty much any time there was a gift exchange, uh-huh. so there would be some argument somewhere. Oh no! We always did the kind of um, what's that word when or what's that gift exchange where you're stealing gifts? The white elephant gift. Is that what it? I'm sure there's different names for it. There is uh, the one that we call it is was white. I mean, it's usually like a. Um, it's usually a gift that's not like super expensive and kind of a joke 
to some extent. Like it could be funny, it could not be funny, it could be cool. And you just like yeah, so you, everybody picks a not. gift. Oh, okay. So we always just did male and female gifts. So like the males would pick from the male side, females pick from the female side. Okay. And some people would put effort into it and get like a good Canadian tire product or a gift card or whatever. And sure. then other people would get like a box of chocolates and got it. Someone who would steal a present from somebody else who wanted one. Yeah. It just caused drama. It's like that's kind of the point of the whole That's the thing. whole if game. We don't want to do Exactly. So if we don't want to do this, then we just shouldn't do it. Right. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's because you get because this uh, like we have the rule of the one item can be stolen. It can be stolen up to three times. After the third time, it's that person's gift indefinitely. Right. Right. And then the then that person gets to pick another gift out of the pile if they got a, a gift stolen. And everybody gets a number. They get drawing a number and they get to pick in that order out of this pile of gifts. And that's how we play it, at least. Yeah, so, that's just how it should be. I mean. There should never be hard feelings. It's all in, like, in good in fun. The spirit of fun. Exactly. That's the whole thing. Is to to. It's kind of like a game. You're bringing a game to Christmas and or yeah. a game to the party, and you're that's that's one of the games that we we play every single year. We're doing ours. We have a I think a twenty dollar limit on it, but it has to be at least you know uh, you have to spend at least ten bucks um, on it because we we have one family member that will um will do like trash around their house. Like okay. like clothes pins that are in an old yes. bucket, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, cool, funny, but maybe include it with something somebody may want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something that we had to do with our friend gift exchange this year. Is we actually had a minimum amount for present spending this year. Yeah, we had to do that here because of that that reason exactly. A minimum of ten dollars and a maximum of twenty five or whatever it is. And again, and if you don't want to participate, it's fine. You don't have to get the gift. You just don't participate in the event. It's not, a, yeah. no no harm, no foul. We have uh, one member who is a photographer and has been doing uh, Santa photos this year. Okay. So well, that's kind of cool. He's actually, like, he gets dressed up in Santa Claus and paints his beard white and does the full-on Oh, he does Santa the, outfit. He does the Santa costume yeah, himself. Yeah, he does the Santa. <laughs> oh, wow. So he's not just taking pictures with Santa. He is Santa. He is Santa. He's got his uh, girlfriend, I guess fiance now, but... Uh, she's the one taking the pictures with the camera that he sets up and everything. Oh, really? And then he has to process them and then emails everybody the photos. Is I guess how they do it. I don't think they would do it there, but maybe they do. Right. But yeah, so he's our Santa Claus this year. So he's actually going to apparently get dressed up and kind of hand out all the presents. Oh, wow. But he didn't want to be part of the gift exchange. I'm like, okay. Really? So I'm like, if you're not going to be part of the gift exchange, I feel guilty you not having a gift. So like I got him like a little... Twenty dollar gift just to go as like a side thing, right? Exactly. So at least he has something to open. Whether he like, like I said, it, to me it's about giving gifts. So I don't care if I get spend an extra twenty bucks on a present because I get to give him a gift. Right. No, and, and that's the like we'll have people that show up at the house like to the to our Christmas Eve party. I'm like they weren't technically invited. You know, so they just pop in. I'm like crap. I don't have anything for that person. I feel bad because <laughs> they're not going to have anything to open while everybody else is opening gifts. So I feel like I have like a stash of like we do. We have a stash of like gender neutral. Yeah. Of like super like they're not expensive, like, you know, ten dollar item gifts that we we have. We've collected throughout the years. We have a little tub of them in the garage (laughs) and uh, we'll just grab one of those really quick. That's perfect. Okay, what would this person like? Uh, Maybe maybe this bottle of scotch. Okay, cool. Maybe this bottle of scotch. (laughs) My uh, one friend who's coming. His brother has been home, so we're not friends with his brother, but we're friends with him. So he's like, yeah, my brother might come tomorrow as well. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But oh. now it's like, is he just going to sit there and watch us? So I went and got <laughs> him a gift as well. Right, exactly. Yeah, because I feel, I feel bad that they're not opening. So, like, they're not involved in the whole thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so. most people, even if they come over just to come over, they'll bring something like a bottle of wine or, you know, whatever it is. So I'm like, oh, yeah. they, they kind of brought a gift. We should kind of, you know, reciprocate. I feel bad. Uh, uh, it's just the it's just sweet. my nature i guess yeah so i, I see where you're coming uh, from as far as uh the gift giving aspect of things it does it does uh it warms my heart to see people open it warms things, your heart. you know what i mean i am curious so we kind of briefly brought it up sure so you don't watch any kind of christmas movies or i mean like there, there's a christmas movie that it's not even a christmas movie i mean it is a christmas movie because people say it is a christmas movie but ethan's been wanting to watch it he's never seen it before is die hard and i just watched it last night (laughs) and i I just talked about it in the last the other podcast um that it's not technically a christmas movie but i consider it one but it's not like a favorite christmas christmas movie does that make any sense 
Yeah, hundred percent. But it's still um, a, it's still an excellent movie though. So I'm really not a what would you kind call a traditional Christmas like, like a the Santa Claus style? No, like a traditional Christmas comedy? movie. I would call like the, the the Santa Claus is kind of a, a, a comedy. Um, what other ones yeah. are out there? Elf. Elf is an absolute comedy. I think that one is fantastic. Elf but the, is decent. But then you look at like you know Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. I don't care for it. Um, you look at <laughs> uh, the Peanuts special, the Christmas special, the um, Charlie Brown. I, I grew up with that because it was on every year for Christmas. I refuse to watch that stuff anymore. Right. I, I just, I don't care for the traditional Christmas movies anymore. I've seen <laughs> Is that bad? More lately and absolutely loving our action Christmas movies. I, I yeah. I mean, I don't, it's like the one I want to watch. I haven't seen uh, the, the boys watched it last year together. And I, I, Chauncey and I were happened to be out that time, maybe shopping. Uh, was, was it violent Christmas? Violent Night. Violent Night. That's it. That it was looks really good. That looks like it looks like a Home Alone type of scenario. It, it kind. Of, I mean, he does some Home Alone setup things, but like Santa Claus goes. I think it's Violent Night where this is. But Santa Claus goes like Die Hard and yeah. tries to like save the life of this family that's in trouble on Christmas Eve. Right. That it's supposed to be it's like taken hostage type, not hostage, but like home invasion yeah, type of thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely want to so see. Good. I would definitely want to see that. That that looks Have actually you, like a good time to me. Have you seen the movie Fat Man? No. It's another action Santa Claus movie. So good. Okay, I'll have to give that one a go. <laughs> Who's in it? I don't know actors at all. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> like, okay. I could, the only actors I know are Ryan Reynolds, Chris <laughs> Hemsworth, I think, uh -huh. and The Rock. Oh, and Vin Diesel, I guess. Oh, that's, so that's I am pretty not a that's person who knows actors. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah, um, have you ever um, seen uh, Bad Santa? Oh, it sounds familiar. What's it well, about? Billy Bob Thornton. He's a Santa Claus at a mall, and they're trying to rob, I think, the mall. I can't remember what it is that <sighs> they try to steal, but there's uh, one of the actors is uh, Lorelai from the Gilmore Girls. I used to love, like, I'm a big fan of the Gilmore Girls for whatever reason. I just yeah. loved watching that show. Um, uh, so she was in it, and, uh, yeah, it's just a good, it's a very entertaining, um, very entertaining movie. I really enjoy watching it. Yeah, I, I don't know if I've seen that. I might have to add that to the list. I probably have seen it, but it doesn't sound familiar to me. So I'll definitely have to check it out. Yeah, check that one out. It's it's a, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we did a um, I think we did a top ten uh movie thing uh recently, and um, we or top twenty, and we critiqued the crap out of them. And there's so many movies that I just I don't care for <laughs> that are Christmas right. themed because they're they're more Hallmarky to me. I, I, like you said, Hallmark earlier, Hallmark movies as opposed to a Hallmark Christmas, Hallmark movies bore the crap out of me. True. I can but see that. I, I'm not a big fan of them. I never have been. Like, if they're on, I will leave the room type of thing. I don't. I won't sit there and watch <laughs> them. They just bore me. Yeah, I, feel, I think I'm the same way. <laughs> I just, I, I guess, yeah, I just don't find them entertaining. I don't. I, to each his own. I, have people that love, I know people that love My sister loves them to death. Chauncey would watch them if they were on. She, I don't think she would turn it to that if she if she could but i mean as far as like traditional christmas movies you know like uh christmas story did you ever watch that no you know, shoot your eye out kid well the, getting the red rider uh rifle I yeah it's, so. it's an old movie it's it was good when i was a kid i refused it's another one of those movies that i don't care to watch anymore just right. th doesn't look entertaining to me anymore to deck watch the halls was a good one which one was deck the hall so it's like a neighbor war with uh oh yeah 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 no no lights yeah i do remember that yeah there it was, was a, it's not a traditional christmas movie right so it was actually a pretty funny one yeah there's another one with arnold schwarzenegger and i can't remember the name of it for the life of me but he's trying to hunt for a gift this robot gift for his kid for christmas oh i think i remember you, you know that. what i'm talking about old. it's really old yeah 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 it's like it's like mid 90s and he gets like a fight in the in the store. Doesn't yes, he yes, point? he does. Yeah, he does. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's fun because it's not your you know your traditional Christmas movie. You know, Santa coming down. You know, saving Santa Claus and all that stuff. I don't never really cared for the the Santa Claus per se with uh, Tim Allen. Yeah, I've watched them all. I've enjoyed them all. And then like last year, they started the short, if you want to call it a TV series, like on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney. I never watched it. I got I got asked if I watched it. I'm like, no, I, did, I just didn't. It was decent. I it was mean, okay. Yeah, if you if you watch the original Santa Claus movies and like the original Santa Claus movies, then yeah, you would really like them. But they, they were okay. I mean, I'm not gonna knock them. They weren't like terrible films or anything. Um, I think it was Tim Allen's downfall. But uh, other than that, uh. 
they're they're okay. Why would it be his downfall? Because <laughs> anytime somebody <laughs> ju- jumps into a kid's film, it ends up being a downfall. That's well, it's <laughs> usually their freaking their drop off. I don't know. The Rock's done a lot of kid films. And I love them. That's true. I, I guess it, it's hit or miss, and he's he's got more hits than misses. <laughs> the Rock is pretty. I, I, anything the point. Rock's in, I, I might bromance over the Rock a little bit. <laughs> I like his I like his acting style. Quite honestly, he's not terrible. He's not terrible at it. He's he's, he's really uh, he he can be funny when he wants to be funny, and he can be you know cheesy actiony when he wants to be cheesy actiony. Yeah, him and Ryan Reynolds. Both have like doesn't matter what movie they're in, they're kind of the same acting style. They kind of are, right? But they're good. I mean, Ryan Reynolds, I think is he's he's a national treasure. Honestly, <laughs> I couldn't imagine not having him around as an actor anymore. He's he's so <laughs> freaking. I mean, again, not to not to be super freaking uh, 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 fanboy of Ryan Reynolds, but I, I'm a fanboy of Ryan Reynolds. He's he's yeah, really he's really too. good at what he does. When you said the National Treasure, it's like, no, that's Nicolas Cage. That's Nicolas, <laughs> that's Nicolas Cage. <laughs> met him once. He's Did really, you? Yeah, we met him once. He's he's really, he's really weird. <laughs> uh, he seems like a weird guy. Yeah, he's a I weird haven't guy. Seen it. Like, he's only done weird movies lately, and it's kind of upsetting. Well, the one he did with, oh, shoot, what's his name? Oh, crap, I cannot remember his name. Played in the, play, I think, did he play in Andor? I can't remember his, the actor's name. But it was uh, where he was... Playing himself as an actor, a down and out actor of himself. Ah, oh, Nicholas Cage and everything. Yes, yeah, something. something, everything. I can't remember what it what's called, but it's so freaking funny, dude. I, it was pretty good. I really like that movie. It was really it weird. Was, it, was, it was so weird how it was about him. Yeah, and yet like an actiony kind of movie. It was good. It was good, and but it was. You're right. It was very freaking weird. <laughs> it's um, a really what's weird. His name? The scene. um I guy can't. who does a lot of stuff with uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. He's in CIA. Um, is it Kevin? No. Kevin Hart? No. Uh, Kevin Hart, yes. Yeah, yeah, it is Kevin Hart. Yeah, he's so hilarious. He did, he did a similar one called Kevin Hart or something like that. Did he really? It's, yeah, it's supposed to be like him as an actor, and he wants to get more into action movies and taken seriously, so he has to go to action school. I couldn't get through it. Oh, it was bad? It was bad. <laughs> was that bad? <laughs> I don't oh, know man. why it was so bad. It was just I did not enjoy it. Oh wow! Yeah, I I I have a hard time with movies. I've I mean I've walked out of movies. Have you ever walked out of a, a film like a, a uh, theater? Never, no, I've never walked out of a theater. Really? Oh, I have a couple times. I've walked <laughs> out of a comedy show before too. I'd sooner fall asleep and be bored than to accept the fact I paid to watch this. Oh, I got my money I'm back. I'm away. cheap. I'm getting. My, I'm telling you, I'm cheap. Oh, I'm not confrontational. I couldn't. Oh, you just you just walk up to the, reg- the the register and go. You know, I didn't like this movie. Can I have my money back? That's all you need to say. No, that's too. That's much confrontation it. For no, me. there's no confrontation, dude. It's so easy. <laughs> yeah, I, I I have I have a hard time paying for something I absolutely hate. I mean, if I, if it's like, man, it's okay, it's fine. It's you know, good actors. They deserve the freaking. Uh, they deserve the view type of thing, um, and, and I could I could suffer through it. Sure. So about twenty minutes into this. Uh recording yeah i went on a hunt to get leather to yeah. uh make item frames to put balls on my tree, balls in your tree. and i lost my base <laughs> no <laughs> like entirely <laughs> i have been wandering I, I went to another cherry blossom forest which i found which apparently wasn't my base no way i am so lost right now you don't, you don't you, watching you didn't they're, write they're down the coordinates like when you're there I think no. I think one of my past videos might have the coordinates, so I'll be able to find it again. But oh no, <laughs> I am so glad for maps. <laughs> uh, vanilla Minecraft. I need beacons. I need maps. Oh yeah, I'm I'm happy with the mods. I'm in the the Badlands. It is a uh, 142 in the daytime. I'm at uh, <laughs> X negative uh, 1436 Z 1092 and Y at 71. I know where I'm at all well, the time. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're getting close to the end of our uh, recording here. So I think so too. I will. Uh, if you guys want to see what the Christmas tree turns out like, just look at the thumbnail because I will get it finished. Because <laughs> you know, <laughs> you got a last chance before Christmas. You got to find home. You got to find <laughs> well, home first. I'll, 
<laughs> I'll leave a, I'm going to cut a little, you know, clip in here right now to show you what the place Oh, is. that's good. <laughs> Eventually when you find your house. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. I hope uh, everybody enjoyed. What is, uh, what is your guys' tradition out there in the world? What do you guys do uh, regularly uh, for the holidays? Or do you do anything at all? Do you celebrate a, a different holiday altogether or not celebrate at all? I'd like to yeah, know. There's a lot of holidays this time of year, and we've only touched on Christmas. We really have. I mean, everything from uh, from Hanukkah to Kwanzaa to Festivus, which is, I think, right about now. Uh, there's so many in the world that we're, we're not going to hit on right now, but uh, please let us know what you guys celebrate uh, down, down below. And uh, happy holidays to everybody out there. Happy holidays. And, yeah, I really hope if you guys are celebrating you're having a great time. Absolutely. And don't forget to do all the uh, the wonderful things if you guys don't mind. Uh, follow along, uh, subscribe, uh, like, and all that other uh, good stuff uh, if you can. It helps out uh, the channels here uh, a great deal, and we really appreciate your guys' support. And until the next one. See ya. Later.